Hi, this is Michael from Unstop Coding and in this video, I'll show you how to use a Benkyo that you can get from Play Store. But before we do, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on my latest videos. So as you can see, I have my Google Play Store up and running. So in here, search in Obenkyo. So here it is. And before we install this app, let's take a look at the pictures in here. So these are the things that you will see once you install this app. So you'll be able to practice writing, the hiragana and katakana, as well as kanji. And then you can customize the, the difficulty level of your tests. And then there you will see the strokes and the definition of the kanji. So there. Alright, let's go ahead and install it and while waiting for it to complete, I just wanna let you know that learn Japanese hiragana, katakana, and kanji and test yourself by drawing or multiple choice by using this app. So this application helps you memorize Japanese syllabary, katakana, hiragana with flashcard, keyboard, or drawing recognition, numbers, romaji, hiragana, or kanji. 2300 plus Japanese kanjis level 1 to 5 JLPT or Joey 1 to 7 with stroke animation and so on. Alright, it's done. Let's go ahead and open it. And as you can see, there's some information here. In order to understand the uses of application better, I have added a few analytics in the app. So continue. And so you can start right, right away by by choosing so you can start right away by choosing the topics in here so katakana for beginners there you have to memorize this first katakana once you're done with that you can proceed to hiragana so there and then numbers so numbers is going to be kanji so that's how you write it in kanji and vocabulary so starting from 5, level 5. So these are the things that you have to memorize and apply so that you'll be able to communicate with the Japanese. So there, match contest, pocket, pocketo, pen, pen, knife, knifeu, tepu recorda, and so on there's really a lot and if you notice there are these tools at the top so this one here is selection mode there display mode and this one is search you want to search something and let's uh, go back so the this one here is settings going by going to settings you will see this one here so show ads let's remove the ads if, if it's possible analytics as well and then test type continuous testing number of flashcards so you can customize the flashcards show romaji in kanji revision yes that's good kanji display group show answers directly fade in animation test and so on so you can also change the theme and if you know this some of the some of the options here are grayed out so this is an indicator that we're using the free version so for the pro version you'll be able to unlock all of these so let's uh, try to check particles so these are the particles that Japanese use. There, just tap one and you'll be able to see it. And also grammar. So the writing system. So there, it's going to be a long definition, an explanation. So the problem with conventional textbook. So there, it's a long explanation in how the system works basic grammar expressing expression state of being so there information how you use it properly so typical classical greeting there genki genki and 
then you can scroll down look for other important information like this one here more negative verbs so you'll be able to use this to have a long conversation with the Japanese and then let's also check other things in here like this one tests so tests okay all right, so let's uh, try kanji, then L54. So, okay, so you can see kanji. And then just tap one and you'll be able to see the meanings and definition of this kanji. So how it was used. So it, it can be used in prefix, suffix, and in the last part. This one it has a lot of so if you tap the stroke let's say for example this one so there that's the first stroke that you have to follow so there and then kanji info stroke so there so that's how you write it so just tap one and you'll be able to see so this is the overall then this one and this 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 so that's how you use it and let's uh, take a look at other things in here so let's uh, try this one so GLPT numbers and grammar go back to grammar basic grammar so there and so on so the last part the advanced topics that you can see here is going to be uh, formal ex formal expressions and so on let's try that so there so you can notice it's already written in kanji which is more advanced topic so that's it so that's how you use this application and i hope that you have enjoyed this thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you next time